Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create downloadable products in WooCommerce. To start, simply go to your admin panel and then go to products and simply click on add product and then enter in a name and then right here simply select virtual and downloadable if you want these items to be treated as virtual products if you want them to be treated as uh, physical products simply uncheck virtual in my case I want it to be treated as a virtual product as well and then simply enter in your SKU regular price and sale price note that when adding a file say for example I'm trying to add this file right here and since my upload file size limit is 8 megabytes when I try to add it I get an error simply go to the directory where WordPress is installed you can do this with an FTP client or a file manager such as this one and then go to your wp-admin folder and then create a php.ini file so simply name the file php dot any and then simply enter in this information upload underscore max underscore file size equals and then whichever uh, size you'd like to enter for example I'm entering in 32 megabytes remember to enter in a size that actually accommodates your files and then also enter in post underscore max underscore size equals and then 32m or whatever you want the value to be and then simply save that file and wait a few minutes for the changes to take effect on some servers the changes actually take effect immediately while on others it takes longer because some servers cache the file now if that doesn't work even after waiting a few minutes try renaming the file to php5.ini afterwards simply go to your item and actually go back to products and then simply edit the listing because WordPress won't actually recognize your new settings until you create a new listing or edit that listing all over again and now when we go back and add that file you can see that our limit has been increased so we simply select our file and we upload and now we simply select our file and insert file and now we give that file name if you'd like to include more than one file on the listing you simply click on the add file button and just choose another file as for download limit if you'd like to uh, offer unlimited downloads simply leave the field blank for download expiry you can actually enter in the number of days or just leave it blank for unlimited as for download type you can choose the type I will choose music in my case and for the price I will enter in a price and for the SKU I will enter in a SKU and if you'd like you can manage stock if not you can leave it as is for attributes you can create attributes if you'd like I actually have a video on how to create attributes so simply look at my other videos to see more on that and now I simply enter in a short description and I set a product image and I choose my category and I publish and my item can now be visible and there it is note that you can also add variable products you can do this by going back to your admin panel clicking on add product and then simply enter in a name
and the description and then simply choose variable product and enter in a SKU and then simply go to attributes and simply create an attribute Note that I actually have a detailed video on attributes which you may want to look at before actually using these attributes. And here I'll simply enter in generate and then I'll simply type in rock bar jazz and this will be used for variations and now I'll simply save my attribute and I'll go to variations here and I'll simply click on link all variations and now I'll simply select downloadable and virtual for both and I'll choose an image and I'll simply add a file here as well so we now simply insert the file and we name it and now we go down here and we do the same thing for this section and again we can enter in a download limit or uh, download expiry and you can even add additional files if you'd like and then simply enter in a price and the short description and set a product image choose a category and click on publish and now we have our item up right here and now people can choose between rock or jazz note that you can even group your music into one listing if you'd like to learn more about that I actually have a video on YouTube uh, that shows you how to create group products in uh, WooCommerce but for now let's go back to our admin panel and go to WooCommerce and then settings and then products here you can actually change the settings of your downloads and you can even decide on whether those downloads require a login or whether you want to grant access to downloadable products after payment so after making these changes simply click on the save changes button and always be sure to first test out your downloads prior to going live for example what I like to do is I like to create a test purchase and try to download the album myself and see if everything's working fine and if it is then I go live with the actual site so thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com